Hi again. Today I'd like to speak about strings. I've been asked a lot which strings I use. But with this cello, with my Ruggieri, I use uh, Jargar, Medium, A and D, just the classic version, not the um, the newer version. And um, I use the Spyrocore Tungsten on the bottom. And uh, the whole set cost about $300, which is a ton of money. Um, for those of you who uh, don't play that much, don't perform as often, uh, I think a set can last uh, even up to a year. Uh, I change my uh, strings every couple of months, actually two to three months, uh, because I feel they lose, uh, they lose their intonation and they lose their vibrancy. So uh, if you play a lot, I would say at least every three months uh, would be good uh, to change. So, so since these strings are so expensive, when you buy them, I would um, encourage you to just take them out or peek inside the envelope and see, just be sure that they're really fresh and new and uh, not used. Um, things happen. Um, did I just drop this? Okay. One more thing to say is that the, the jargars are, um, they're punchy. So if you have a, um, if you have an instrument that's very punchy, that's very bright, uh, that is modern perhaps, uh, sounding raw, you probably need to experiment with uh, other strings uh, than the Yager. I mean, you, you need to experiment. To, you need to experiment regardless. These are just the strings that work for me. But um, I know that a lot of people prefer the dominant set, or the Larsen rather. The Larsen are also great uh, strings. Uh, I all, always love the sound of the of the jargars. So. Another very important issue that um, a lot of us don't really think of or know of uh, is the planing of the fingerboard. And uh, the fingerboard uh, gets hit by our fingers on uh, every day for hours, depends how much you practice again. But every few years, every, I would say 10 years would be the absolute maximum. But for me, it's probably every, three to four years, um, you have to plane your fingerboard, which means taking it to a shop where uh, they're gonna make it just smooth. Because there are grooves, you, we don't see them with the naked eye perhaps, unless we really uh, look at an angle, but um, I, don't, I don't see them. But they, they make us not play perfectly in tune, and we need all the help we can get. So good luck, and I'll see you next time.